grace and peace and good morning it is tuesday it is january the 16th and it is going to be a full work day today we got tons of snow so i don't have as much natural light as i would want because i want to i have a couple meetings today but i also want to film content someone commented and said can you start taking us through like your day-to-day -day stuff like with work as well and i'm like i thought i'd be doing that but as i was looking through some of my content i'm like i really don't it's like i do sometimes but I really don't a lot of the time. So I was like, let me take y'all through what a work day. I'm gonna do the gym later on today. I slept terribly, so I kind of woke up with a headache. I tossed and turned so much last night. So the gym is the last thing on my mind right now. Um, the only thing I really wanna do is get some coffee and some water. I just need some coffee and some water in my system. I'm not gonna drink coffee right away. I heard where it's not good to like drink coffee first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna wait a little bit, but I definitely want some coffee. For sure, for sure. This right here. This toothpaste right here, toothpaste for sensitive teeth and cavity protection. It's the extra whitening. This right here is my favorite toothpaste ever. I feel like this joint get my teeth nice and white. So I am up and at them. I put a couple of Mighty Patches on my face. My face then broke out, y'all. Skin does amazing for a little bit and then it just decides to do what it wants to do. I don't know if I told y'all, but me and Sunny literally live like seconds from each other now. <laughs> So she has been putting me on to like this Nespresso stuff and all these things. So I'm like, ooh, like maybe I could get some Nespresso from her. Cause I don't, I don't have a Nespresso machine. That's her thing. I'm like, mm -mm. Face is a little drop, but yeah, we are like seconds from each other. And she was like, I can bring you some coffee if you want. Cause she has the Nespresso machine. So she's been raving about how good the Nespresso coffee is. and. I was like, girl, you would do that? I'm like, you gonna bring me some coffee? Just, just to bring me some coffee? And she's like, yeah. But I was like, also, I kind of wanted some coffee from this coffee shop down the road from me. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to do that or, cause I don't know how the roads are. And from what I see, absolutely not. Come tell your family good morning. You shivering, you wanna put your hoodie on? Let's put your hoodie on. Girl. I her jumping off the bed. I just wanted to like kind of change my clothes a little bit because I just felt mm, I ain't like what I had on. But yeah, I slept kind of weird last night and I had some weird dreams. They weren't like nightmares, but they were definitely, yeah, I know with dreams it's good to write them down so you don't forget them. So let me do that real quick. Come here, Ting Boops. Look how she be jumping past the screen. Come here, Ting Boops. Come here, Ting Butt. Are you being mean? What? I told you good morning and I gave you kisses and all the things. Give me a BRB because she being mean. Yeah, I felt so bad just now. <laughs> there was this man that started walking behind me and I can hear, honey, I can't see worth the darn, but I can hear everything. So he was walking so silently and he was walking behind me. He was in the building and, um, and he was walking. So I turned around. I turned back around. He was like, good morning. But I didn't hear that at first. I just heard like something. So I turned around and I was like, excuse me? And I said it politely. And he was like, I just said good morning. And I was just like, good morning. Like I won't try to be rude. I couldn't, I got a hat, hair, and this over my ears. I mean, I couldn't hear like that. And I didn't want him to think that I was trying to be rude cause I won't. It was just, that threw me off. <laughs> Cause it did, I mean, I don't try to be rude, but I mean, kind of bad because I'm like, well dang, I don't want to think I'm a rude neighbor. I really didn't hear him. And plus the fact, just for safety precautions, always check your surroundings, always look behind you. If you hear something, it's probably something, look behind you. So I did, and it threw me off. And I don't know, I feel like he think like, girl, don't nobody want you. I saw a video like that once. <laughs> this dude, this dude had got out of his car. This guy got out of his car and he was walking past this other lady's car. And as soon as she saw him walking past the car, she locked her doors and he could hear it. He literally heard the doors locked. He was like, B, don't nobody want you. <laughs> Anybody go get you or something like that, he said. I thought that was so funny, but it's a real thing. It's like, ladies, we be scary for real. It's like, and we, 
rightfully so we have a lot of reasons to be sometimes because not every man in this world wants to try to you know hurt you in some way <clears throat> in some cases some men might have those kind of intentions you just never know you just never know that's why i was just like let me look behind me and i look behind me and the man was i mean he was he was vaping he was walking he was chilling he said i just said good morning i'm like i didn't hear you man of god i didn't have a good day i didn't hear you <laughs> i'm sorry i'm like i hope you don't think i'm mean because i'm literally not i just didn't hear you but anywho i'm going to start my work day i need to check <sighs> i need to check on some times i really think i put a schedule i mean i sure did i made this meeting for 11 o'clock this morning so my my um my um meeting my first meeting of today is at 11 it's 9 42 right now so i'm gonna get a little bit of um i'm gonna get a little bit of what i'm gonna call it in i have to wait for some content to import to my computer so while i do that so honestly it's really giving i can't even fool with my youtube video right now it's giving we're gonna get into the word of god we're gonna get into the word of god i'm still in first kings uh, my mom's best friend she was like i don't see how you're trying to read like the old testament all the way through she was like i needed to like break it up it's like too heavy and i was like and i get that because sometimes i will read especially leviticus reading through leviticus is like an extreme sport i'm like lord god help me but i'm in first kings and i'm reading it through and even as i'm reading it through sometimes i like to dibble dab back into some stories that i read like honestly reading about david was fun reading about um reading about moses was fun reading about gideon was fun like i don't know just reading those storylines was fun i don't know it was just fun anyway reading about abraham is fun like i don't know it's just fun reading the bible is fun to me i think it's fun so obviously of course after first kings we'll be going into second kings and then i told you guys that i've been dibbling dabbling back between first kings because i wanted to read about solomon and i wanted to dabble into proverbs so i'm in proverbs as well let's see where i stopped in proverbs i think i stopped because one night I read through a good chunk of Proverbs. I think I stopped at chapter 23. Oh, so I don't know if y'all remember in the other vlog, I was talking about how I was reading the Bible where it says like, don't love sleep. Listen to this. It's in Proverbs chapter 20, uh, verse 13. It says, don't love sleep or you will become poor. Open your eyes and you'll have enough to eat. In other words, get up. <laughs> get up it says laziness induces deep sleep and a lazy person will go hungry get us right yeah we have so much snow we have so much snow i wanted to do this before my other what's today tuesday So I have a little bit of a busier day today. All right, so I got my work schedule stuff. I just thought about it. I'm about to jump on a meeting looking like this. It's like two minutes till the meeting. Maybe I shouldn't do the hat. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I could look a little more presentable. I told y'all I was trying to take y'all through my day of what like day looks like for me with work. So I'm getting ready to have a meeting about our Costa Rica trip this year. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's about that time. So I'm about to hop in on a meeting for that. And the meeting is not, both of my meetings today aren't long, thankfully. So once I'm done with my two meetings, then I'm kind of like freed up. I have a couple of um, other things I'll need to do that I wrote down on my to-do list. But after that, I'll take you guys through some of my other work and I may go downstairs to one of my little cubicles and work once I'm done with these meetings. I just don't wanna take no meetings down there because I don't know how quiet it'll be. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm well, how are you? And that's just like for anybody. So how it works for hosts, and just so you know, for this trip and future trips, like mm -hmm. hosts, or maybe just the beginning of March because the traveler form is when, so you'll just want to email host support. So it's a good, uh, a good refresh. Yeah. So you need anything, reach out. Okay, meeting one done, and we finished four minutes before the time. So I still have a good 30 minutes before my next meeting. Oh, but that meeting went well. 
I had a little bit of anxiety with the meeting, but it went well. There's a little bit of homework I have to do. to get my charger out of there what's up you guys it has been a little while later i am go to a cute coffee shop and do some work that's like my little mood today <laughs> but i'm trying to figure out what the weather is looking like i know sunny went out earlier and she said that one of the areas where i want to go to she was at earlier and she said the roads aren't too bad so i don't know <laughs> I'm kind of scared. I'm not scared, I'm just kind of like, mm, do I really need to go out? Could this be a day where I just sit inside? I mean, that's one thing about doing content. It's like, dang, okay, well I got cute for the content. Now for real life, are we going out or what are we doing? You know, so now I'm just kind of sitting here like, mm, I wouldn't mind going out, but y'all already know there is snow on the ground. The sun is somewhat out, not really, but it's just kind of one of those things where I feel good, I look good, I am good, I wanna go out, amen. But this is my outfit. I thought it came out so cute. I wear these jeans every single time I get ready to go somewhere. So if y'all see these jeans uh, again, just just hey amen. I'm get just know I'm getting my money's worth. Okay. These are Target jeans, um, but I love them so much. This sweater is Uniqlo. This jacket was a gift from my sister, and I really think it's. I think she said it might have been Fashion Over. Fashion Over, maybe. I know she gets a few items from Fashion Over, and I think she just didn't like the jacket. So me, this is right up my alley, so I love it. Um, my earrings are Anthropology. Of course, I wear my same little assortment of rings. My boots are Mango. My scarf is also Uniqlo, so they're literally like cut from the same cloth. So when I say it's identical, it's identical. I'm pairing it with my little Amazon shades. I love these. These are good because these have a little bit of tint to them. They're not like super dark. So I like these. And then I paired it with my little Target strap bag. And then my work bag of the day was gonna be my Target tote bag. But like I said, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I have some editing I wanna do. Oop. I have some editing I wanna do. I have several things that I want to do. So it's more so of just trying to figure out how to get that done. So, cause if I end up going Cause it's one of two things. I could go to this other restaurant I actually want to go to and just get me like a, like the sun is really trying to come out. Give me like a little salad. It's just something simple. Or um, they've been scraping the roads. So I'm pretty sure the roads are fine. It's just a matter of trying to figure out what I want to do. And also y'all, this is also me trying to fight against just like feelings of like anxiety. It's just kind of like, okay, Jalen, if you want to go out, go out. It's literally two o'clock. You still have some work to finish up. Um, if you want to go get some food or something, go do that. You know, what's there's literally nothing wrong with doing that. So I'm just trying to figure out what to do. I'm just trying to find like those little cutesy places that I want to go to and stuff. Like back home was different because either I didn't really have anywhere to go or I had like my favorite places that I like to go and then just kind of left it at that. Yeah, the sun is trying to come out. See, I could go out. The sun is literally coming out. I'm gonna go figure it out, BRB. Well, while I sit here and try to figure out what I wanna do, I have like two things I need to do. I need to answer in my, my joint. I'm getting ready to get dressed for the gym. I don't like doing evening workouts, but Lacey got me motivated. I'm her trainer. I made a mistake. I'm getting ready to get dressed. I got motivated. I got the workout ready. I'm zoned in now. I just gotta. Yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh my God, that hurt. Wait. Wait, that hurts so bad. <laughs> Yo, hold on. I think I made a mistake. Oh my God, why would this come off? I'm never forcing to the gym again. Oh, dang it. <laughs> It only ripped off one. Oh my God, that hurt. Cause look, I got makeup wipes. So yeah, we finna take this off quick. Mm. Oh, I'm motivated. Oh, I'm motivated. I don't oh, go. Sarah V, get y'all some. I don't wanna go no more. Oh well. <laughs> Cause I can't work out on no makeup, so we got to. Absolutely not. Gots to get the makeup off. Gots to get the makeup off. Mm, mm, mm. 
Sorry, I'll be on it next time because I definitely was playing games. I, I don't. I appreciate it. But see, mm, no, no. This just okay. shows the beauty of our friendship. I, and what friendship? Friendship is. Oh, oh wow. I'm not, not going to play my friendship. I Thank you so I much. I was about to say, did you see how speechless I just got? I'm not going to play my friendship. I'm Thank sorry. you so much because I'm about to say, girl, get out. I like these pants. Is this what you wore to the fight? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. These are Target, and mm -hmm. I felt so bad because I went on the website to try to find um, the link to the pants. Boom. Like, it popped up to the point where it was like, um, oops, something failed. I, mean, I thought it was the app until I clicked on something else, and it pulled that up just fine. Okay, okay. And we've made it to the end of the day, y'all. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> what wasn't necessarily captured on footage was Laysla ended up coming by. Well, y'all saw her. We ended up going to the gym. I didn't really record. I'm just not necessarily like recording a whole lot of gym stuff right now. Getting back to it, but just bear with me. And I keep telling myself to stop getting on this worldwide web looking like anything, but I'm tired. <laughs> I vlog my life and my life ain't always glitz and glamour, okay? I'm very tired. It is 11, it's basically 11.30, it's 11.27. I still need a, I still need a shower and I've had a smoothie, I've had what was gonna be dinner. If I get hungry, I may, if I get hungry, I may snack on some pine berries. Other than that, I'm, I'm done. I'm just drinking water. And yeah, but I had sweet green for dinner because I'm kind of sort of snowed in a little bit. Not really. I'm just going to say I'm snowed in. I'm really not, but I'm going to just say I am. Um, Just because I wasn't sure how the roads were earlier. And I did ride out earlier to get sweet green. And the roads weren't bad, but it was just like the parking was interesting as of right now i'm trying to stay off the road so i'm trying to eat all that's in the house before i have to go back to the grocery stores so anyway i'm gonna go take a shower and i'll be honest i might not see y'all until tomorrow i'm closing the laptop till tomorrow and i really want to have enough energy i really 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 want to have enough energy to read my new book i keep talking about this book right lock doors lock the lock door or something like that also, y'all, side note, I wrapped Avery up in this blanket because homegirl with no hair has been cold. And look at her. <laughs> and yes, I have the heat on pumping, but she is wrapped up like a burrito. But yes, about that time, I'm going to knock out a nice, good, thick, hot shower. Again, we had arm day today. I don't know if I even said it, but yeah, we had arm day. Ooh. Mm -hmm. We had arm day, and y'all, I'm going to go shower. BRB. Grace and peace and good morning, everybody. Praying all is well with all of you. I didn't sleep without a bonnet last night. <sighs> so if you didn't sleep without a bonnet, I mean, if you don't know what your hair's gonna look like, sleeping without a bonnet. Cause you can tell what side I slept on. I slept on this side. I'm trying to get it to lay down, but this side is definitely like popping up. Mm -hmm. I literally have no excuse to not go to the gym right now. So it looks like we're going to the gym. I gotta keep that momentum, y'all, you know? Let's see what I'm gonna wear to the gym. Let's see, let's see. What's up, guys? So I'm getting ready to go to the gym, feeling good. I don't know why it took me so long to decide what I wanna wear to the gym today, but now I know. Jalen, pick out your clothes the night before because you standing around trying to figure out what to wear to the gym. It's ridiculous, so. Yeah, we're not doing that anymore. Um, moving on, <laughs> moving on. I just need to make sure I have my gloves in here. I'm gonna bring my purse because baby, my lips are crispy. When pray, nobody is in the gym. When I go around this time, usually no one's in there. So, <clears throat> we're going to see. 
I'm trying to decide if I want to wear a hat. <clears throat> I don't know just yet, but I got water, headphones. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. I think I'm gonna start this book while I do my cardio, and I will be back. Only reason why is the only reason why I'm not necessarily bringing a camera to the gym is because obvious reasons. But what I can do. Let me see how much charge I got on this one. What I can do is I can bring this one. Just get like little clips as long as I'm not like recording the whole time. Because that thing, I didn't charge that one last night. That was my mistake. I didn't charge that one last night. So that one doesn't have a lot of charge on it. I'm going to bring that one. So I'm going to leave y'all here and we'll switch to the other camera. BRB. Oh, goodness gracious. I, that workout was fantastic. I have my workout high right now. You know how you get like a runner's high? I have my workout high right now. My body is aching, but I got my workout high. So I feel good even though I'm hurting. Ain't that something? You know I'm gonna make it into a sermon. It don't feel good, but it's for your good. Just like working out don't feel good. Did you get that runner's hot going, baby, baby, baby? I'm about to make me a smoothie. Cut me on a little bit of YouTube.
right guys, I am done with my face and my hair has been wrapping up the entire time. So I'm getting ready to film the other part of this content. I really hope it's coming out right. But let me tell you something, Laysla called it. She said, why don't you start working out in the evenings? That way when you get up, you can just spend time with the Lord, jump straight into work, get your work done, and then have like the evening to just kind of chill, nap if you want to. And then when the even evening time gets here, work out, come back home, shower, get into bed. Because me working out in the mornings, I'm, it's, it's, it's starting to hit me, it's 2.33, it's really starting to hit me and I'm very tired and I'm sluggish and I'm kind of like, I'm in that mode where I'm like, mm, I wish I didn't have this makeup on right now because my hair is wrapped, I could literally lay down, take a nap and I didn't do that. I don't know, I look like Glacial if you're watching this. Yeah. You might have been on to something. Okay, that is one reason why I don't like to wrap my hair because whatever side you wrap it on, like what? Whatever, we're getting ready to use our air wrapping. So back to the original part of this video, somebody had asked, what is this contraption that I use on my hair? guys I'm getting ready to go out to eat I'm gonna go by myself just to have some time to myself and just reflect and all the things so let's go all right guys my vlog camera is low on battery so I'm just gonna vlog from my camera I'm sick of fighting all these dying batteries But I did bring my book, so. It's a little later in the evening. It is um, 10.43. I have to put y'all on a tripod. I have to work on my time, my sense of time. I haven't been doing so hot with that here lately. I notice I've been going to bed kind of late. I still get up quite early, which is surprising, but I just know over time that's really going to not serve me that well, you know what I mean? Anyway, I've been doing a little editing, which I could honestly save this for tomorrow, but again, I really love what I do, <laughs> so I just be up. I'm not really even tired, and I still, ooh. I do need to do my Spanish lesson, lesson so I may pause while I have energy. Also, someone commented, shout out to them, someone commented and said they are on day 1,445 streak of their Duolingo, Duolingo in Spanish. So they are on day 1,445. So it's given, hola, como estas? <laughs> Y'all should be speaking quite fluently at this point. So I'm definitely on like street. I'm on like day four. So I have quite a while to go. But I chose the intense lessons. So I'm like doing like 50 plus words a day. So it's quite intense. But I'm loving it so far. So I'm getting ready to start mine. And it's hard. One, two, three. Yeah. So let's get into it. Hola, como estas? Estoy cansado. ¿Y tú? I am. Estoy cansado. Cansado. Estoy cansado. ¿Y tú? I am tired. And you? Yeah. Ella está cansada. Ella? Ella está cansada. Ella está cansada. Oh, guys. All right, y'all. It is the end of the day. It's technically a new day, but it is the end of the day. Laysla ended up coming by. I trained her at the gym. Um, unfortunately, she won't be able to come with me to the gym in the morning, but we will get it in in the morning. I am tired. Today's been a long day. It's been a good day, a very good day, but it's been a long day. And honestly, this is what I mean. I remember a couple vlogs back, I was talking about how I'm trying to like be more mindful of the time I actually clock out of work. Like obviously what I do for a living is not traditional. So it's kind of, I mean, I guess you could work all day and night if you want to, 
but it is very taxing on the mind it's a lot of screen time it's a lot of a, you know your face on a computer screen or a phone and um it can just be very tiresome and you know like i said earlier loving what i do is one thing but also not prioritizing just like myself and other things like that can become an issue and I just don't want it to become an issue so there's like some studying I need to do of course me like <laughs> trying to learn another language right now you know and I just have a lot going on so I just need to be mindful of um yeah I just need to be mindful of the time I'm spending with things and obviously what I'm, t I'm not talking about like mindless scrolling luckily I'm not doing a whole 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 lot of that the time I clock out of work is actually kind of crazy. The fact that I'm just now shutting my laptop here at midnight is wild. But again, I love like making videos. I love like creating content. I really thoroughly enjoy this. But sometimes I just be so excited about something I filmed, especially when it come out good, especially when I'm excited to work with the brand, especially when I'm like all these things. I'm so grateful for it all, Lord knows. But also, I still have to prioritize myself because at the end of the day, I still got to make sure Jalen, the person that's director, operator, <laughs> filmer, editor, producer, like the person that's running pretty much the whole show just about is like, well, that person's got to rest. That person needs time to sit down. That person needs time to sleep. She's going to be exhausted. And that's just not going to be good for the biz and if it show you right on it gonna be good for me so we are not forgetting our bonnets tonight but also i went to ulta just very randomly i went to ulta and i found these two satin pillowcases and i'm going to put that on my bed i hope they match well that's my whole thing i hope they do match well also i don't know if i ever showed y'all this is how i wrap my hair at night because my hair is so short I don't even bother trying to like do the whole wrap around thing. I'm not fooling with that. Pieces of hair ain't even gonna get up in there good. So I just put this on top to keep the top flat. And I literally throw a bonnet over everything else, scoop the hair in the back, and that's it. I go to bed just like that. Also, if y'all have not heard that Kalante Gavin Now album, y'all are missing out. I cannot have y'all missing out on this album, okay? And I love when an album has like good mixture of like some upbeat, some worship. And I really appreciate albums that like, to appreciate one song, you gotta listen to the song that brought that song in. And that album is one of those kind of albums. It'll have like one of those interlude songs, like that'll be like a minute long, if not shorter. And that brings in the next song, but it's so good. I'll put the picture of the album that I'm talking about so y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I think it's called Now Something. Now Victory or Now. Now Something. <laughs> Speaking of Kalante Gavin, y'all know he just got married. Period. Period, period. Trying to get some leftover makeup. I never am able to get all of the makeup out of my hairline because I try not to make my hairline too saturated because it ain't gonna do nothing but curl up, so. That's why I keep that band around it like that because that keeps that hair flat all night. I had to lay off of this a little bit because I noticed my, I was getting like unnecessary, like little red breakouts. And I'm like, maybe I'm using that a little bit too much back to back. So let me chill. But I'm gonna use my La Roche Posay. This is my hyaluronic serum. Love this stuff. Mm. I'm gonna link my skincare stuff down below too. It's part of my LTK, but. It definitely helps like if you're interested in this stuff i mean just so you know i use it i mean this oh the paper thing is in the way but i don't know if y'all can tell but like it's got a little bit left up in there this stuff is like looking are you kidding me and this is no moisturizer yet this is a straight up hyaluronic serum i got to go back and get some more i got to go back also i just recently tried out i got a sample so well not a sample so i got the, like the little travel size it's the green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser from youth to the people 10 out of 10 highly recommend as of right now the sarah v cleanser is what i use it's my holy grail at this point um i go right in with like my paula's choice which like i said tonight i'm gonna skip because yeah and then i use my la roche posay then I'm gonna go in with my fresh. I got a new bottle of this. 
I use two squirts of that. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this is like my quick, quick and easy, quick and easy. This is my quick, fast, and in a hurry routine. I'm gonna still use the same products. Then I'm gonna go in with my fresh recovery moisturizing mask moisturizer. Super Lotus Night Recovery Face Cream <laughs> from Fresh, which I rave about this product so much. It's thick, so that's why I like to use it at night. Sometimes if I, like I like this moisturizer so much, I will put this on before the gym, but it is really thick. So I mean, I wouldn't recommend it for the gym, but definitely putting a glob of this on before bed. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, like hear me out. I love, and when I say love, I mean, I love the whole process of getting ready. Like as a woman, I love the whole doing my makeup, doing my hair, doing my skincare body products, perfume, nails, like I love the whole thing. Putting on lashes, doing, like just doing my makeup, just being a woman. But it ain't nothing like taking it all off. <laughs> you take that bra off at the end of the day, you take them contacts out your eyes, you wipe that makeup off. Y'all see me. I wonder what y'all really think about me, for real. <laughs> Cause I be on this World Wide Web acting up. You wanna get wrapped up in a burrito? You wanna get wrapped up like a burrito? Look at the little girl. Right, sweetie? Here you go. Y'all, I was editing and I was looking at my room like early in the mornings. How beautiful is that? I was like, you cannot tell me that was not a strategic gift from God because I could have gotten any other unit. <laughs> and I got the one I got. When I tell you, God redeems everything because I had. You remember how in the other vlog I said I feel like I moved out of season and I really necessarily won't supposed to, supposed to, supposed to move into that townhome? So in that townhome, I ain't really have a view. Like, I'm on ground level at that point. The apartment I had before that, <coughs> excuse me, the apartment I had before that, I was some levels up and I had such a beautiful view from my window and my patio. So then of course when I moved into the townhome, I'm sitting there signing the lease and asking God at the same time if it's okay. And whole time I'm like, that's not how you do things, Jay. That's how I did it. And I moved, I was like, I grieved that apartment so much, y'all. I grieved it so bad. And, um, and one of the things that I really grieved was the fact that I no longer had a view, like a sunset view, a uh, um, sunrise view. Like I didn't have that at the townhome and I was so grieved. I was so sad about that. So moving into this place and just having the view that I have literally could make me cry because it's like, wow, God, like, thank you. You really do redeem things, even though like, you know, it was on me that I, you know, went without it. Because, and the sky means a lot to me. Like the Lord speaks to me through the sky. Like I just, that's just, I love that. I've always loved that. Like you can watch my old vlogs, like old vlogs. I used to be like, oh, God put this in the sky. Da, 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 da. Like I was, I, I am one of them. I don't care. Okay, one second. Laysla is talking to me in Spanish. So I have to figure out, she says, buenas noches. Okay, I know that's friend. Te quiero mucho. I was really grieved with that apartment, so I just really feel like the Lord redeemed that for me. So also, before I go, I believe this is gonna be the end of the vlog. Oh, I also gotta show y'all my head things. But anyway, I put myself as my lock screen because it's so funny how time flies by. I am my own goal in the gym, and I want to look like this again. I like how lean I was here. I like how chiseled I was. I like that my arms weren't too big here. My arms did get bigger than that. So I don't want to be that buff on my arms. So I want to just kind of be back at this lean phase where my arms are chiseled, my abs are poking, I'm lean. You know, that's just where I want to be. And give me like two months, if that for real. But I'm gonna give myself two months. And I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna be up in there. So go slide and glide and get on the donkey ride and get up in this good bed. Y'all, I am so tired, but I'm gonna show y'all my little head things. I bought two of these. I bought two of these and I thought about it. I have one extra pillow. I'm gonna just stick this one in the overflow at the moment because it's just me laying in my bed. So I don't even know why I bought two, but it is what it is. But it's a king size and it's like a silk satin, satin pillowcase. Thank you. Jesus, 
for all you've done. I want to say thank you. Thank you, sir. Jesus, for all you've done. How nice. So, yeah, now I have a silk pillowcase for my bed. Look at y'all's knees. Her little head. I love you so much, my tiny little daughter. So adorable, y'all. Uh, you got your own little corner, don't you? Look at you. Look at your little head. Are you kidding me? You look so skinny, boobs. I love them Gymshark rest day sets, but whose head is supposed to fit through that little thing? Good gosh. I got a big head then because that was ridiculous what I just had to go through and rip my whole thing off. This is like the hatch thing. And I can literally, this is to go to sleep. And then up here is to wake up. That's what I hear at night. Good night. All right, I really dragged this vlog out way longer than I needed to. I love y'all so much. So as always, if you're new, I'm Jay. If you're not new, I thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know. And of course, until next time, I will see y'all in my next Video. Did I say God willing? I already know God willing. I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. Bye.